Hi there, and welcome to another Photoshop video tutorial. In this exercise, I'm going to teach you a very cool technique to create artificial fog out of cloud layers. Now, what we're basically gonna go over is we're gonna go over the faking process of a channels layer. Now, uh, I'm going to show you how t you can create a very unique channel out of, RG uh, out of an RGB composite image. So, uh, what we're gonna do basically is we're gonna add fog to the bottom part of the image thus creating some kind of a moody effect. Now the fog already is located in the photo itself which I shot in February and we're gonna enhance this photo by actually adding additional fog created out of cloud images. Okay, let's start. Basically what you want to do at this point is acquire several images, two at minimum, of clouds. Now I suggest you take a peek at stock sites if you don't have any images of clouds yourself such as perhaps sxc.hu or deviantart.com both sites have an immense database of stock images that you can use for free and uh, I'm gonna be using two images that I shot by myself which I'm not particularly proud of but uh, to illustrate this technique they're gonna be pretty useful okay so now we have a image that is not exactly a channel material so if you we take a look at the green channel and the red and the blue channel none of the channels actually have a really immense luminosity info that we could use to just copy the clouds and paste them into the image for the artificial fog effect so what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna we're gonna go over both techniques that I want to illustrate at this point, and one of them would be to bring up the layers palette. You can do that by hitting Control L, and the thing that we want to do is to play with the levers until we would get something that would be approximately appropriate for our technique. But the problem with um, levels is that you can only manipulate the whole uh, luminosity base. So uh, in our case we have a problem here that um, the color of the sky isn't exactly the same color. The, co the color is like say a gradient so we, we took the pixels and manipulated them to be black here but the same color that should be black here is not. And I'm gonna show you another technique that will go over this problem. So let's just go to the RGB channel the RGB composite channel that is and um, I'm gonna be using a technique that I didn't go over yet in any of my tutorials and that would be the image adjustment and replace color and this technique this filter is uh, new to Photoshop CS and what it does basically is uh, it's a combination of the hue and saturation adjustment and the select color filter and it's really it's really useful if you just want to very quickly change color from say in our case blue to black okay so 
first of all what we have to do is click on a color that we want to sample as the base color in my case that would be this blue over here and you'll get the picture of what exactly is selected in this thumbnail over here and now the combination of the hue and, hue and saturation adjustment is visible in the bottom portion of the filter and what we're gonna do in our case is drag this lever all the way down right so we can actually see that some of the image is fixed but some of the image isn't yet so what we have to do is either use this little feature over here or hold down the shift key which will change the cursor as you see here it will bring up a small plus next to the eyedropper and while holding down the shift key click on any additional colors that you wish to change and in my case three clicks took care of all the problems so hit OK on that and why it's still the filter does its thing right so let's apply the same filter to this image go to image adjustment and choose replace color right lightness to zero click once twice and three times should yeah perhaps bring down the fuzziness a bit since it darkened the image just a tad bit too much right hit ok and let's continue all right so now we have two images that are basically we can use any of the channels but we can also use the RGB composite channel and uh, all that we have to do is basically hold down the control key to bring up the move tool and drag and drop into our original image so I can close this one and don't save and do the same with this image right so close this one and don't save as well okay so let's play now with the first layer that we copied so let's hide the visibility of this one click layer one hit control T and let's just transform it down a bit so we can see only the fog now to get only the lightest pixels of this layer we have to change the blending mode to yeah you guessed it screen now we're gonna we're gonna actually manipulate the pixels in this layer so to save this layer for future use if there's gonna be any I'm just gonna duplicate the layer okay go to filter blur and choose Gaussian blur and uh, check something that seems appropriate enough to use in my case 40 pixels should do the trick that I want so okay on that and uh, I'm just gonna bring more of this layer into the image 
Okay, now what I want to do next is uh, try to show the person that's going to be viewing this image that this layer of fog is actually behind the girl, not in front of the girl, but behind the girl. And um, how I would achieve this, oopsie, how I would uh, achieve this is that I would have to mask out her feet to get a basic effect of perspective. So click on the layer mask icon over here and that would bring up a layer mask. Now get a black brush. I'm gonna be using 30% opacity and just click and drag and brush out her legs Okay, this seems satisfactory for me. Now, bring up another layer. This would be the layer one copy from the layer that we copied before. Now let's flip this one. I'm hitting Control T to bring up the free transform choose flip horizontal to show just a little bit of variety and this looks nice okay go to filter blur and choose Gaussian Blur again, this time a lower number, uh, 20, let's hit 20, times 15, 15 looks okay, and now we're gonna choose Filter Blur and Motion Blur, to bring up a bit of motion to the whole image. Let's try 20 pixels. Let's try something radical like 50. Something even more radical like 150. And this looks mighty fine. Mighty fine if I must say so. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna drop the opacity of this whole layer to something about 50%, 70, and put the topmost layer to visibility. Okay, so this layer would look best if it would be flipped vertically. So, free transform, flip vertical and let's put it to place now choose screen and in this case i think we're gonna have to create a mask and mask out a lot of the detail that will just be inappropriate so I'm masking with a 100% feathered brush here 
So everything I stroke over is getting hidden. And I'm gonna move this whole thing to the bottom. Alright, so this part here didn't get masked yet. So let's apply it. Alright. And uh, let's apply motion blur to this one. Filter, blur, and motion blur. And uh, for this image, let's do something completely radical. Like 350 for my image will be really appropriate. And there we go. We have a very believable, very high quality artificial fog, which if you take time and uh, really go into detail can look even better than real fog. Really, trust me, uh, in this kind of effects you actually have more control over what you're gonna get in the end than you would if you would uh, take this girl and photograph her here while having fog over here. So, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and till next time, have a nice time, bye bye.